Everyone's looking to connect. And so it's just finding those commonalities and helping uh, everyone be a part of the same welcoming community. Really a welcoming community is exactly what it sounds like. It's one where everyone is welcome, everyone's made to feel a part of the community and not in an exception sort of way, but really just as part of the community in an equal sort of way. We don't practice tolerance, we practice inclusion. Technology is often overlooked, so it's a fabulous way of solving problems and reducing barriers. And we used to often solve these problems with staff, um, or even an entire housing arrangement that's built around the fact that maybe the person has trouble keeping track of keys, or maybe you know shutting off the stove is something people will be concerned about. In 2018, there are coded locks, there's fingerprint locks, there's automatic shutoff valves for stoves, there's electricity uh, that can be shut off remotely. And it's amazing, who would have ever thought that Phil would be using social media, using a computer, using a telephone. His workers and his support system has been able to educate him in these regards and again adding to his life and the success of his well-being. When we go grocery shopping, we'll usually go to the same cashier and yeah. they get to know Tim by name. Uh, adds that extra person that kind of in the community can see him and knows who he is. Yeah, because the person who did it when I was giving my milk, she knew my name. She said, hi, Tim. This is all about not turning a person's life into a bureaucracy. That helps nobody. This is a human being, and the real measurement is are they enjoying life to the greatest extent possible. I love having the moment with me. It is so much fun. Because after I spent a day at work around people, and then I just want to come home. I think the life that Heather has built for herself here is, is something that's sustainable. Knowing that if something were to happen to me, that Heather is still on the right course. She still has the support. She is fairly confident that she can continue living the way she is. So that's a, that's a big step to be able to uh, have that peace going forward. I mean, I just see this is a life-changing opportunity for people. So to see the light in those people's eyes and then to see how their family feels uh, when they see that person having the success and reflecting that back. Uh, it just changes people, it changes families, it changes communities when excluded people become included contributors. Mm -hmm.